November is a massive month for video games. New consoles arrive with sparkling new IPs, and whether you're grabbing a PS5 or Xbox Series X or sticking with the current gen options, I found a bunch of games to grab your attention. And to keep the tradition going, more free games too. Free of them in fact. Let's do this. Let's start with the biggest game of the month, if not the entire year, Cyberpunk 2077. Eight long years after the reveal of the game, it's finally time to take your place in dystopian Night City with your best pal Keanu. At its core, Cyberpunk 2077 is a first-person RPG with plenty of action segments, and depending on how you play, it's a first-person shooter. But shooting people is not the only way to navigate the underworld as a mercenary. Your choices in-game adapt missions, and even your character's upbringing impacts the story. There is so much to talk about and break down here, so if this floats your boat, keep an eye on the channel later this week as my coverage starts very soon. On November 19th, Cyberpunk drops on PC, PS4, Xbox One, and should you have the PS5 or Series X, your game is playable there too, with a free upgrade included. And when the time's right, a more comprehensive update will arrive on both platforms. Free upgrades are great, but that can't be said of our next game. Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. Again, this is available on current gen and next gen, but to get the full experience on PS5 or Series X, you have to pay an additional fee. But I'm not here to judge, just wanted to let you know. Black Ops Cold War continues the first person shooter shenanigans of the Call of Duty series, and like always, the gunplay feels ultra slick and incredibly satisfying. Nothing comes close to this. As the name suggests, Cold War is set around the real life Cold War, in which we follow CIA officer Russell Adler as they pursue a Soviet spy. Cold War sticks to the original Black Ops much more closely and doesn't jump forward like it did in Black Ops 3. Was that 2065 that one set in? Anyway, everything is far more in keeping with the correct time period. Black Ops Cold War brings back the zombie mode many people absolutely adore, this time with a new storyline which we thought was concluded in Black Ops 4. There's a new mode called Zombie Onslaught to play this year and that's exclusive to PlayStation for an entire year. Wow. Anyway, Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War drops on PlayStation, Xbox and PC on November 13th. Another action RPG now in the shape of Assassin's Creed Valhalla, playing as Eivor the Viking as they travel into England to settle there by any means necessary. 2019 was the first year since the series began in 2007 that there was not an Ass Creed game. That extra year in between entries has reinvigorated the audience and now many of us want to jump back in again. Over the years the action adventure game has fully embraced RPG elements and that continues here with loot drops and the ever increasing numbers on all our loot, that's the core loop here. England is a country divided and Eivor uses this to build relationships with rulers of different kingdoms there, each reacting in different ways. I've played about 8 hours and if you've played and enjoyed Origins or Odyssey you'll be very happy happy once again, with butt tons of activities including the gradual upgrade of your settlement in which you can have viking insult battles while drinking like an alcoholic. Happy days. With hunting, fishing, viking raiding parties and so much customization too, this game could last you weeks if not months. Assassin's Creed Valhalla arrives on November 10th on PS4, PC and Xbox One with free upgrades to PS5 and Xbox Series X. Spider-Man returns in November, but this time it's not all about Peter Parker. Miles Morales, one of the youngest and most loved versions of the web slinger, gets his own game. Well, sort of. Spider-Man Miles Morales is coming to PS4 and PS5 on November the 12th. I say kinda because Miles is not quite getting a full length outing and yet it's far more than a simple DLC. The average playtime is said to be around 15 hours. If you played the DLC from the 2018 game, you'll know that Peter has been training Miles and it looks like now is the time for him to venture out alone. The game can be purchased alone or for the full experience there is an ultimate edition which slams together the remaster of the 2018 game complete with all the DLC and a shiny new Peter Parker who looks less like Andrew Garfield now and more like Tom Holland. Definitely a coincidence, right? And just in case you're thinking this is a reskin featuring Miles, then take this to note. Miles has his own abilities, his own story arc and his own cat. Spider-Cat confirmed. Count me in. 
Okay, now I know that everyone can't afford every game that comes out, so I found three free games you can grab. First up, on November 25th, PS4 and PS5 players can get their hands on Vigor. And if you're on Xbox or Switch, yes, Switch, I said Switch, you can grab it right now. So what the heck is Vigor? Vigor is an end of the world survival game based in Norway. You may think it looks a lot like DayZ, and that's because it's made by the same people. The premise is quite simple, upgrade your shelter. To do this, we need to loot and shoot against other players, grabbing precious items and escaping back home. The kicker is, if we die, we lose everything we currently have on our character. This is a risk reward to the max. Over time, our shelter updates in real time, which is also our hub, will come back here to craft weapons and bullets and meds and anything we want to take into our next deadly encounter. We have multiple maps with weather and terrain changes to mix up the difficulty, and there's a random airdrop possibility which has the best loot possible, but it also attracts all the players in the lobby. It's going to be a bloodbath. I did say it was risk reward. Maybe it's time to team up with friends. One you can trust anyway. How about another free game? Okay, here's another one. Sadly, this one is only available in the NA region right now, although there is talk by the end of November it will appear elsewhere in the world. Operation 7 Showdown is a free-to-play third-person shooter. It follows up on the PC game named Operation 7, but now it's on console. As you can see, it looks a great deal like PUBG, but if I'm honest, it lacks all the finesse. The game modes are small-sided deathmatch style games with emphasis on attacking and defending points on the map. There are vehicles dotted about too, which adds a little variety to the strategy and team play. I've played this and maybe it was my connection from across the world, but I don't think I can recommend it. Maybe it will improve over time. I'd personally suggest trying Rogue Company, which dropped last month, and that's also completely free. It's a far better third person team shooter with much more controlled mechanics. Okay, let's try again on the free to play front. This is Bless Unleashed an open world MMO which is available right now on PS4 and Xbox One. If you've heard of Bless Online, you'll know where the origins of this title come from, but this version is like a reboot using a free to play model. We create a character, then take them into this fantasy world to explore and complete errands and missions. Bless is a class based MMO, with the Berserker class given access to two handed weapons, the mage is magic focused, the ranger is all about projectiles from distance, the priest is suited to healing others, and the crusader resembles like a tank with a sword and shield option. With a mix of PvE and PvP, there's a ton of things to lose your time to. There's a 15 on 15 PvP battle mode, and there's a smaller sided 3 on 3 micro arena too. But if you prefer teaming against the AI rather than other people, then look out for world bosses you can stumble across in game in the open world. And like all good MMOs, there are dungeons to fight through. So if you're looking for a new MMORPG, then check out Bless Online, which released on PS4 three days before I made this video. Our next game is a PS5 exclusive new IP, Destruction All-Stars, dropping on November 12th. I need to interrupt myself right now because Destruction All-Stars was just delayed the moment I uploaded this video to YouTube. Rip of the dream. It's not all doom and gloom though, as the new release date is February 2021 and it will be free on PS Plus to make up for this letdown. Hmm, I'm gutted right now, but I'm happy more people will play this on PS Plus next year. So, oh well, let's move on. What's next? Next, we have Godfall, the first game officially announced as a PS5 title, but you can also grab it on PC too. Godfall is referred to as an action role-playing game with looter slasher elements. And I gotta admit, that fits pretty well. Just look at the combat, it's hectic to say the least. The world of Godfall is split into realms of earth, air, water, fire and spirit. Playing as one of the last of the Knight's Order in this apocalyptic shaped world, we harness those elements to evolve our warriors. The weapons range from dual blades to great swords to war hammers and is always focused on achieving the next tier of loot. There's something addictive about numbers going up on all our gear. Godfall supports three player co-op with drop in drop out functions to keep the game moving forward without breaking the action, which is nice to hear. Godfall drops on November 12th or 19th, depending on when the PS5 releases for you. And finally, the long awaited return of Demon Souls is officially here. The remake of the Sublime original hits PS5 on release day. Demon Souls is where the Dark Souls series began and coined the memes about multiple deaths in gaming. 
Demon's Souls on PS3 was hard, so damn hard, and I never actually played it due to the fear of failure. The gameplay is centered around perfect knowledge of fights and an emphasis on timing attacks and defense. The game is slow and methodical, and at any moment, a slip in concentration can lead to yet another death. This is totally a game for the hardcore, and there's also a world invasion mechanic, making it possible to do exactly that, invade other players and either help them or hinder them. I know what you're gonna do. I wonder how many new DualShock controllers are gonna be smashed due to Demon Souls. We shall see. So there we have it, 10 games that you may want to play. Any take your fancy? We didn't get time to talk about Sackboy's Big Adventure or Dirt 5, and there's, there's so many more. November 2020, it's a great time to be a gamer. I'm Adam from PlayStation Grenade. It's been a pleasure. I'll see you next time.